Hey there, Becky here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can create a page section in Squarespace that has two different button colors. We're going to use a little bit of custom code and a free Chrome extension to make this magic happen. All those details are listed in the description below, along with a link to the Chrome extension, but let's hop on into my demo site so I can show you exactly how this works. Alrighty, so here we are in my demo site. I have a page section with two different buttons, and what we want to change is the background of this button right here, that background color. Now the Chrome extension I'm about to click on is linked in the description below. Clicking on this Chrome extension, I can grab the block ID for that button. I'm just going to click that right there and it's copied to my clipboard. Let's turn that off, navigate to design and scroll down to custom CSS. Here I'm going to paste that block ID and then I'm going to add the letter A. Now A is just a nickname or a catch-all for active link and the only active link in that block is this button right here. So I'm going to open up a bracket and say background color orange and check it out the active link also known as the button inside that particular block is now orange but the first one is exactly the way that it was before and you'll see none of the other buttons on this entire page are affected no other button on my website will be affected because this block ID is a unique name given to that specific button so let's say you actually want to apply this to an image for example you can do the same thing, grabbing that block ID. If you want to combine it with this code above, add a comma after the A, add that block ID, and then enter the letter A, because once again, we want this to be the active link or this button right here for that particular card. Because we added that comma, we're still going to get the same effect for our second button as well. So that's a great way to combine two different codes into one line of code right there, just changing the background color to orange. Now, last but not least, let's make this a hover effect just for fun. At the end of the A, I'm going to add the colon symbol and the word hover. There we go. And I'll add it to this one as well. And now when I hover over either one of those buttons, then they'll turn orange. Pretty cool, right? And there you have it, a super quick way to create a page section with two different button colors in your Squarespace website. Now again, a link to that extension is listed below. I'm not affiliated with them. I've just used them in my own work, so I wanted to recommend them. And the codes I just shared with you are also listed below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I took all of my pro tips and custom codes specifically for Squarespace and put them into one gigantic PDF. Available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.